Abby Lee Miller is suing the Hampton Inn and Suites by Hilton for millions after a hotel door allegedly fell on her, trapping her in her wheelchair for at least six minutes. According to court documents obtained by People, the incident happened when the former Dance Moms star, 56, was staying at a Hampton Inn in Santa Monica, California, for an extended period of time between the months of March and October 2020. The docs allege that in August, Miller, who has been using an electric wheelchair since 2018 due to complications of Burkitt lymphoma, which affects her spinal cord, wheeled herself into her hotel room's bathroom to wash her hands in the sink. Upon leaving the bathroom, the back left wheel on the Reality Star's wheelchair got caught underneath the sliding bathroom door. As she attempted to free the wheel herself, the 300-plus pound door fell directly on her head and left shoulder, trapping Miller in her wheelchair for approximately 6 to 12 minutes, the documents state. The complaint says that, although Miller was screaming for help, hotel guests did not come to her aid, instead enlisting two staff members to lift the door off of her. She was then transported to St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica to treat her injuries, which allegedly still affect her to this day, as she's been in physical therapy since the incident. In addition to getting pinned underneath a hotel door, Miller also alleges that the hotel staff ignored her accessibility needs when she contacted the front desk for assistance. Court docs also say that she was unable to use the laundry room because it was not wheelchair accessible, and that her path of travel was blocked daily by housekeeping carts left in the hallways of the hotel. Miller is suing the hotel chain for negligence, emotional distress, unlawful discrimination, discrimination against individuals with disabilities, and false imprisonment. She is seeking at least $8.5 million in damages. Miller, who rose to fame on Lifetime's Dance Moms when the series premiered more than a decade ago, was diagnosed with a rare form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2018 after undergoing surgery for what was initially believed to be a spinal infection.